good morning please forgive my sunglasses you all the sun is very bright this morning so i have to wear sunglasses but i hate wearing sunglasses when i am doing a video but i'm gonna make this one quick i promise the holy spirit said what he said and he kept it moving um <clears throat> So, just recently there was the Grammy Awards and there was a lot going on. First of all, there's a lot going on just in general in the world. And if you are, if you have a relationship with God, you, if you have a real true relationship with God, And if you are bound by his statutes, right? If you're bound by what he says, then you know that there is a shift happening. And it doesn't matter whether you agree with it or not. <laughs> um, it doesn't matter who your friends are or friend circles are or not. You agree with the Holy Ghost, even if it does not, If even if what he says does not agree with what you think so I did get a chance to watch a little bit of the Grammys um, and I do literally mean a little little bit um, and from the things that I saw in the spirit realm and as I always tell you guys the things that happen in the spirit spirit realm are as real as what you see now like as real as what we see here in fact a lot of things are born out of the spirit realm in fact we were born out of the spirit realm like i was a thought in god's mind before i was ever me today let that sink in um you were a thought in god's mind in the spirit realm and god is god is a spirit right he's not a person <laughs> And I think people need to remember that God is not a person. He is not a human being. He does not behave the way we do. He does not. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. His ways, meaning the way he does things, the way that he moves. He is. He doesn't do things the same way all the time. He is a spirit. He is not a person like us. He cannot be manipulated like us, right? God is not moved by Beyonce, right? He's not. Like, he's not. So people may be moved by other human beings and their talents and their gifts um but god is not moved right he's moved by the spirit um because he is a spirit so just things that i saw and i just mentioned her name for no reason in particular except for the fact that a lot of people people who claim um, and declare the name of Jesus Christ are enamored by her um, to the point where a lot of people have abandoned Jesus right and not just her but just people in general um, and the Holy Spirit was talking to me about mixture so I was looking at things and looking at people and the Holy Spirit was talking a lot about what I saw and a lot about what was <clears throat> a lot about what going on in the world at large and then he started talking about what's going on in the church and he started talking about how there's a lot of mixture and he was I was looking at certain things and certain people and he says see there there's where my spirit has left I said wait a minute Lord so your spirit was once there and it's gone now like he said, yes, daughter, there, there, that, him, that group of people, there is where my spirit has left. He said, I am there no more. I am not allowed there anymore. They have not made room for me anymore. They have, in fact, pushed my presence out anymore. And they have allowed people around them to push my presence out. Um... And he reveals all this because he, he he knows what's going on, but also so that I am not fooled with where God is taking me and what he's doing in my life. He is showing me these things behind the curtain so that I am not fooled and I'm not bamboozled so that 
took two as an example to me to show me that when he takes me to higher heights in him and he put, places me before kings and he puts me in a place in an environment where where there's always a possibility of mixture he's telling me don't mix you cannot mix the world with my spirit they don't the two don't go together so honestly i'm always very grateful for the holy spirit because without the holy spirit honey <clears throat> i would be bamboozled tricked I wouldn't know my left from my right. I'm just being honest with you people. I wouldn't know my left from my right. And the fact that there are people who are claiming the, you know, holding the microphone, yo, holding microphones and uh, claiming to be men and women of God but they are so engulfed in the world systems in the world's music culture in the world like engulfed i don't want to hear no release i rebuke and bind up every religious spirit that would come and tell me oh it's okay to listen to um worldly music see you're being religious no i'm being led by the holy spirit whatever god say whatever god say whatever god say if you are not convicted by mixing truth with a lie by mixing the things of god with with the demonic if you are if you're not okay with it and the lord is saying this person's lyrics and music is full of demonic spirits and activity but you are posting as a woman of god or a pastor's wife or a man of god or a pastor or a a gospel singer that you need tickets to a certain concert or you are like you're not gonna make it if you don't get tickets to a certain concert i don't care how many grammy awards oscars tony whatever anybody wins if their name is not written in the lamb's book of life it does not matter that's how i feel about it if we're not talking about how my name can be written in the Lamb's Book of Life, how I can serve God better, how he can open the eyes of my, my understanding so that I can see wonderful things in his law, in his word. What do we have to talk about? What are we talking about? What are we talking about? People of God, do not be deceived and God will not be made a mockery of. His word will not be made a mockery of. His people will not be made a mockery of. There is a lot going on right now in the spirit realm. And if we are not careful, if we don't take heed and if we are not careful and we start mixing and we start caring about what the world is caring about, our standards are the world's standards and they're not his standards, we will people will be left here because i'm not playing with god i've seen too much in the spirit realm to be talking about i'm going to anybody's concert when i could be in the secret place praying for demonic principalities and strongholds to be broken over people's lives and over generational curses and i'm having fun glory to god i'm having i'm, I'm having the time of my life I, ain't nobody got to tell you well you're not having fun and it's always about jesus jesus absolutely because if he came and showed up right this second i'm trying to go with him i don't care about nobody concert i don't care about no award show i promise you i don't care <laughs> I don't care because if it has nothing to do with the returning of my lord and savior and i'm going with him and how my name can be written in the lamb's book of life i don't want to talk i don't want to talk about it and I'm not going. And I don't care what they say. Because who are they anyway? Oh, help us all, Lord. The Lord said <clears throat> that there will be much and great deception. And many, many, many will fall away from the faith they will be following jesus for so many years and then they will get caught up in what's going on in the world 
and they will stop following Jesus. How do you think it's going to happen, people? Do you think it's going to happen just one day they're going to wake up and be like, I don't want to follow Jesus no more? No. People are going to think that they're doing the right thing. People are going to think it's no big deal. And then Jesus is going to come on a cloud. And they're going to be left behind. And they're, most of them will know exactly why and how it happened. Nobody's going to wake up, not going to say nobody. But I don't believe, the Lord honestly has not told me that part of it yet. Yeah, because I'm not making up nothing that the Lord, the Holy Ghost didn't tell me, period, point blank, because I know, <laughs> I know him. <laughs> he don't play, okay? God don't play about me, and he don't play with me, <laughs> okay? People, I don't believe that anybody's just going to wake up in the, in, in the next morning and be like, I don't want to follow Jesus anymore. But I do believe that it's going to happen very gradually over time that people are going to just start preferring the world's music. They're going to start preferring mixture, things that are demonically inseminated. Inseminated. That have been injected with the sperm of Satan. Music. TV shows. Podcasts. YouTube videos, there's just going to be little injections of Satan here and there. It's not, it's not going to be, especially if you claim the Lord Jesus, it's not going to blatantly scream, hi, it's, this, it's, it's Satan here coming to you live and out loud. No, he wants to gradually fool believers to think it's okay until they're way over there and God is way over there. He wants to fool those ones that think they can do both. Help us, Holy Spirit, to see what's happening. But it's a choice. You have to choose. I have to choose. We have to choose every day whether we want to follow Jesus or not. Or we want to follow the world. We're spending most of our time on Google searches about what's going on in the world. Have you heard the latest news? So-and-so did so-and-so. So-and-so did so-and-so. But you cannot quote the scriptures because it's embedded in your heart. Not from memory. Not because I'm not even talking about just quoting the scriptures. Because because people who quote the scriptures still walk in no power and authority. They have no idea who God is. I'm talking about quoting something that's deeply embedded in your heart. That whenever Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy. The word of God comes like Hebrews 4.12. Alive and active. Sharper than any double-edged sword. Cutting down. Separating soul and spirit. Okay. Cut and separate and bone and marrow. I'm talking about you pulling that sword out and cutting him down. The Bible says resist the devil and he will flee from you. But some people don't resist him. Some people, some people don't. He doesn't flee from a lot of people because they have not resisted him because they don't know how to use their sword. Because they busy on YouTube trying to find out what's going on. <clears throat> trying to find out what's going on on TMZ. What's going on? And God is like, they're getting further and further away from me. They're getting further and further away. They have no idea. And sometimes God will send people in their lives to correct the behavior like Holy Spirit sent me this morning. To just remind, just a, a little reminder, don't mix people of God. We're not like them. And God will send people in their lives, the ones who are falling away, to tell them. And God and and they will be and they will fuss at the people God sent. They will reject the word of God. They will reject the word of the Lord for them. And say it's not of God, it's a religious spirit. Test the spirit. Test it. And see if it's a religious spirit. Or if it's the Holy Spirit indeed correcting them. Anyway, the Holy Spirit told me to come up here today to tell you us we because any of us can fall short the bible says take heed lest you fall short i'm taking heed myself when the holy spirit said me i had to check myself lord are there any open doors in my life on my tv screen glory to god are there any open doors in my radio 
on the music I choose to listen to because some of the people that God was showing me at the Grammys were gospel artists. Yes, people of God, gospel artists. I was like, what? He said, yeah, that's, that is where my spirit has left. And I was not surprised, but it was disheartening because it's like, Lord, a lot of people are listening to their music. A lot of people have been listening to their music. Lord, I have listened to some of their music. And the Lord said, yeah, that was when it was full of my spirit. Now they have left me. Now they have abandoned me for the world. They don't want me anymore. And there was such a sadness to me. Now, Jesus, I didn't. <clears throat> there was a sadness to me. It was disheartening to me, but the Holy Spirit was just talking and telling me about these things and telling me to warn the people. This is something specifically that he has asked me to share. So I'm being obedient because I don't play with God because God don't play with me. And so people of God, take heed, um, hear the word of the Lord or don't. Either way, he's coming. The king is coming. We need to be prepared. For the arrival of our good and gracious king. Be blessed. Love you guys.